Hello there, so in this episode we are going to be talking about how to create this effect. This is like a hell that I've created for my game. You can download the game for your Android devices from Google Play Store. Link is in the description. Um, download it for free, play around with it, um, and have fun with it. Okay, so this effect is a um, post-process based effect to um, create everything from scratch, you just come here, type in post process volume, you just drag it into the game, and then um, I have it here. You can, I mean, um, the way I did it was to, um, I mean, I didn't do it yet. I just scaled it up, so if I get out of it, oh, it's, it's super big. So if I get out of the uh, the bounds of the post processing volume, it will um, it won't be enabled anymore. But if you don't want to uh, mess around with the scaling problems, you just come here and um, check this one out. So you type here uh, to create the whole uh, hell effect thing. You type in materials, and you have an <coughs> ar array of post-process materials that you can add. So you just add something in here and then you come to your materials folder, right click somewhere. Nothing here apparently. Uh, create a new material. I've already created it. I've typed M on the line burning. So let's go ahead into the material itself. Uh, in the Material domain, it should be, I mean, it must be set to post process. It's a post process material, that's obvious. And then we'll just start from there. So you'll need the world position, um, this one, and then you'll have to mask it out, components mask. So um, when you'll have it, you'll just uh, have RNG, which is X and Y, and then B, which is Z value uh, on two different nodes, like this. This one's RG and this one's B. And then you'll have to append to these two together because we're doing something on the Z value. We are animating it, right? So we'll need the Z value uh, append, append vector here. For the Z value that we're, uh, we're animating, we'll just use the time, time this one, and then multiply it by 50. This is the speed of the uh, animation we have right now. And then we'll add these two together. So type in add. And then we'll uh, connect this one to the app end. So we, we are not touching the X and Y value of the whole thing, but rather we're uh, changing the Z value uh, based on the animation that we are going to create right now. And the animation is based on a noise uh, node. This can be a little bit um, costly, but I've tested it on my phone and you can test it out on your phone as well. You can just go ahead and download the game. Um, but if you want to use some other methods like using just a uh, regular noise texture, you're more, more than welcome to do so. Um, in this method, I've used it with a noise node. So the scale is 0 0.01. Um, the function is fast gradient. I mean, obviously for performance reasons. Uh, the levels is at three uh, and everything's a default value. So type in noise and this is the noise node that you'll get and add it with a 0.5 value, multiply it to uh, get this multiply value. Hold M on your keyboard and multiply it by 0.7. And again, multiply it. I mean, um, if this is the whole code that you'll need, this one, this one right here. This is the code for the animation for the whole thing. This uh, part here though, is because I wanted to mask out my fire. I didn't want my fire to be affected by um, by the post-process material, so I did this. This is on another video that I had explained. I uh, The link is in the description. You can just, if you want to know how this stencil works or how to mask something out of your effect, 
um, I've already explained it so you can go ahead and watch that video and you can multiply this uh, this part of the stencil with the part that you've already created and then everything goes into the emissive color this one right here the multiply right here is how strong the emissive is gonna be of course add and multiply all together so if you want it to be more strong make sure you multiply it by a higher number if you want it to be um less strong than a lower number would be um, sufficient for you and then hit apply and save and then you have it if you want to change anything if you want to change the scale then in the noise uh you have the scale if you want to change the um the speed of the animation then you have i mean this is the speed of the animation it's just coming down and sometimes it just the animation is different if you want to change the speed of the animation then you just type something else on here and then uh, the whole speed is different, but 50 is enough for me. Um, and this was it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if it did help you in any way, please hit that like button and um, have a great day. Bye.